I went off to war and it left a scar on me that I don't understand. And I need help to work through this. Because where I woke up one morning and my primary responsibility was to kill and destroy. Now that's not what I'm supposed to do. Now I'm supposed to protect and nurture and it's a whole entirely different ball game. But yet society expects us to go in war, kill, kill, destroy, come back home, change clothes. Hey, it's like it never happened. No, it happened. And it's still happening internally. And until we learn how to deal with it. And it's hard to relate to someone who has been there. Let's put it like this. If you don't have the t-shirt, a lot of us don't feel you don't have the credentials to talk to me. You can read all the books you want. You can have all the degrees. You can have all the names, all the letters behind your name. But you had not been there. You don't understand what I'm going through. You don't understand what it's like to actually look down a sight and pull the trigger to kill someone. We know that if someone go to war and they fight side by side, there's a relationship, there's a bond built that is hard to describe. It's stronger than being on an athletic team or something. You've been in a life or death struggle with somebody, and there's a bond that's made. You know this person is willing to give their life for you. You're willing to give life for them. So it's a real tight bond. And I watched a team, male and female, who went to war and came back, and they go back home to their spouses. They can't relate. They can't talk. The wife is in my office home, and my husband can't talk to me. And all of a sudden, Ian walked somebody. He was in a war zone. And they strike up a conversation like they oh, just having a blast. And the wife is sitting there dumbfounded like, what's going on? When we be so macho that we don't talk about it, that real mans don't have mental problems, you man don't even get sick, where do they turn? Uh, so some way, somehow, we have got to say real men do talk. Real men do get help. Talk about the invisible scars in my day. You just flat didn't do it. You was a man. You man up, you took it, and you went on. You know, the culture in the military, you don't get sick. If you go to sick call, you know, you, what's, you know, what's going on? So you, if you don't get physically sick, how much harder is it to admit something going on mentally? So that the culture was not there for a man or even a woman to discuss, hey, there's something going on up here. I, I don't understand. I don't know how to relate. We saw it. We knew it was happening. But we just went, went past it. Oh, you'll get over it. You'll get over it. You'll get over it. Understand something. Anyone who go to war never come back the same. Uh, you can lose yourself. And we willingly put our lives on the line, feeling that we can, we can do all these things. And we come back, and the emotional scars or something that we have to learn to deal with, and we can. Part of survival is having something to do. In the U.S. Army, every day you keep waking up, you're in the war zone, you know what you're going to do. You know that this is a fight for survival. You understand that. Even if you're not 